Hey, what's up guys? Mike Redfox. In this video, I'm going to share all the recent mining news, including RTX 3050 hash rates, Intel's step into the Bitcoin mining game, the Ethereum network hitting an all-time high, and some Spanish miners getting busted. Let's get started with the RTX 3050 which released just a few days ago on January 27th, starting at 249. Well, first of all, let's take a look at that. So I think probably the best bet you had to get one of these cards, uh, if you couldn't do it locally, was on Newegg Shuffle or paying ridiculous prices over on Zotac's website. And you can see, yeah, there are some 249 models. We'll see how long that lasts. A lot of the lower end models from the board partners. And then things quickly go up in the $300 range, $400 range. And I think the highest one I saw, yeah, is the Strix coming in at $490, which is just a ridiculous price for a 3050, even when you just consider gaming. Uh, and let's take a look at some of the hash rates of this card. So in the last mining news update I did, I shared the hash rates of the Ethereum for Ethereum on the GPU, which were terrible, right? Just LHR, half hash rate coming out in like 15 mega hash Per second, And then what I was really interested to see is obviously what else it could do, maybe on Ravencoin or some of the other algorithms. So Dizzy Mining, my man Dizzy Mining, I'll leave a link to his video down in the description below. Got this card day one, put it to the test for us, confirmed the stuff that we saw on Ethereum, uh, and also confirmed that this card is absolutely terrible for mining. <laughs> so when you look here, you can see uh, he has Ravencoin tested right now with moderate overclocks and undervolts, and it's doing... For just under 14 mega hash per second at 90 watts, which is awful. The 6600s beat that all day. So really not impressive on Ravencoin. He tested Ergo as well, which he found worked really good. But then the LHR limiter kicked in uh, and dropped that hash rate considerably. I'll leave a link to this if you guys want to check out the rest of the testing that he did. But my takeaways from it are that this card is just, it's not for miners. It's not worth it. Uh, there's better ways to spend your money. So based on everything I've seen so far, I haven't got one in my hand. I still would like to, but based on everything I've seen so far, this card is not worth it at all for mining. Moving on from there, news that the Ethereum hash rate has hit a new all-time high, which really isn't news because we pretty much hit all-time highs in hash rate every single day. But over on Cointelegraph, they reported this. But the big news is that it went over a petahash. So they say that according to Glassnode, the Ethereum network hash rate reached 1.11 petahash. So where I like to confirm all this stuff is over on two miners, my favorite place to track network hash rates and difficulties. And what I'm looking at first is the all-time network hash rate. If you take a look at this chart here, and you can see, right, really low. And then the 2017, 2018 bull run happens, and the spike is there, which just, just is nothing in comparison to the spike that we've had since the bull run started in late 2020. And if you're wondering what this dip right here is in network hash rate, that's when uh, China banned mining. And then we just, we came back, right? We came back. But when we look at like the weekly here, we can confirm we went over a petahash multiple times in that week. So really insane for me to see that. Um, obviously, it's still profitable to mine Ethereum, but that means there's more GPUs coming online every day. There's more ASICs coming online every day. And all of that, all of that is happening. And all of this is building to nothing because we won't be able to mine it later this year. So I thought that was really interesting to share. Huge milestone for the Ethereum network uh, and for mining in general. But what is it going to mean when the summer comes and mining is turned off on the Ethereum network? Probably the biggest news this week is on Intel. I don't know if you guys saw this. Intel is getting into Bitcoin mining. And this is not a rumor. This is not speculation. This is fact. This is confirmed from Intel themselves. So we're going to take a look at this. So the news broke that Intel is going to be making an ASIC chip called the Bonanza Mine. I would love to know who came up with that name. Uh, and it's going to be revealed at an upcoming ISSCC conference in February. So I went over and found, I guess, like the pamphlet or whatever for this conference and you can see it right here this is real and this is on february 23rd the bonanza mine an ultra low voltage energy efficient bitcoin mining asic is the topic being presented by intel this is huge guys this is crazy news i know we've seen nvidia 
get directly involved in the mining space with their CMP cards. We've seen AMD board partners create mining specific cards. Um, and I know Intel's getting into the GPU space, but like to see a corporation of this size get involved and take on Bitmain and all those others that are involved in, in ASIC mining is really crazy to see. Um, I think it means a lot to the space on how it's matured and how these big players are getting involved because they see that they're going to make money, right? That's it. They see they're going to make money in it. So one of the ways they're going to make money is selling that stuff to some partners. And one of the startups, this is reported by Fox Business, a crypto mining startup called Grid, which is set to go public on the New York Stock Exchange, has signed a long-term contract with Intel for its BMZ2 mining ASIC. So something that's interesting here is at the conference, and Intel's confirmed this, at the conference, they're going to talk about their BMZ1. So at the conference, they're talking about their first generation ASIC, but they already have a deal with Grid for their second generation ASIC. So I'm over on the Fox Business article, and you can see that, yeah, Intel didn't make that deal uh, with the BZM2 ASICs with Grid. Um, they're set to be delivered in 2022, and that's it, like for real, real deal. So <laughs> Intel's making ASICs. They have a partner to sell them to already. Going back to the original article here, you can see some comments from Intel on the bottom. Here we go. Intel confirmed that the company has worked on crypto accelerators for years, but didn't share any details about if it would offer the chips to customers. Uh, the com announcements come after comments from Intel GPU chief Raja Kadori that confirmed the company was working on new silicon for blockchain and cryptocurrency tech. So they're not being shy about it at this point. They're getting involved. You can see coming up in the conference soon. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this unfolds and what this means for the space. Last thing I got for you is, is a fun one. So some uh, authorities in Spain knocked down a door and found some cryptocurrency mining happening when they were expecting some marijuana growing happening. So let's check out this video. You can see them bashing down this door, right? <laughs> we'll fast forward. They get in and this is what they find. They find GPU mining. They find ASIC mining happening. So what happened here is that this was tied in illegally to an electric grid, and they knew that, And but when they were breaking in, they expected to find, I guess, a marijuana plantation and instead found good old crypto miners hard at work stealing electricity and making some crypto from it. So I thought that was a, that was a real fun one from the week. Thanks to videocards.com for sharing that one. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's all the news from this week that I found. If I missed anything, let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on everything, especially the Intel news of them getting involved in the ASIC game. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll see you in the next video.